Hey guys, welcome to the next video in the Max Script video series. And today we are going to talk about macros. As we had discussed earlier, that you can save your Max Script files as .ms extension, which is Max Script, or .mcr, which is macro. Let's understand what these are. So this was one of the lines of the code that I shared as a tip earlier, in which if you wanted to instance some objects, which are not instanced. You can just write this line of code, which is instance replace dollars will give you the current selection and dollar one means you will replace everything by the first object in the selection. So if I run this code, it says, okay. And every teapot has been re replaced by the first item in the selection. That means if I were to select this object and select all the rest of the objects and then run this line of code, there you go. The object itself gets instanced. So now if you basically would like to use this macro multiple number of times, what you can do is you can select the line of the code, drag and drop it right here onto your toolbar. So once you drag and drop it here, you can just right click and you can say edit button appearance. So let's say this is quick instance. And it's a text button. You can always go ahead and add an image of your own choice, but I will just say instance and I say, okay. And we have a button right here in our toolbar. That means if I just create a cone right here, all right, and select rest of the objects right there, these three cylinders, and I click on this button, the button is functional. Now why did all these change? Because all these were already instances. So they would definitely change. So this is one of the simplest ways in which you can create a button out of your script. But let's take a look at the code of this button. So you just right click on this again and you say edit macro script. So if you see right here, we have created a macro script. Now macro script is defined by the word macro script right here in blue. And then you give it a name. So we have a category and we have a tooltip as well. And this is the code that is wrapped inside two brackets or two round brackets. So if I was supposed to right click on this toolbar, go to customize and then go to uh, the category, which is drag and drop. So if I just go to drag and drop right here, we see there are two macros and you can definitely go and, you know, create another button right here somewhere, wherever you feel like. Uh, that's it, macro tool. So now what you can do is you can just close max, right? We don't want to see the scene. And meanwhile, we'll just quickly take a look at where our macros are saved. So if I just open up this window right here, you can see that in your application data, local folder, you go all the way down towards uh, Autodesk 3D Studio Max, your max version, ENU and user macros. If you see user macro number two, that is the macro file that we had just created. So now if I open 3D Studio Max again, so now you will see that you already have the button right here, which is a macro and it is fully functional. That means if I have a couple of, let's say these only lights, which are not instance, I can just select all of them and click on the button and they get instance, which means if I next have a couple of spheres or some objects, I can just select them and click on the button. So this is what I wanted to discuss today is, you know, what macros are and a brief overview. If you also see that the extension right here is going to be .mcr, which is a macro file. So that is it for the video. And in the next few videos, we'll also discuss about writing macros uh, when we write our own tools as well. And thank you so much for watching.